All right guys, so today we're making a pair of stylized sunglasses on Blender. Um, this is the one that I made up quickly. So to get this one started, we're gonna need a few tools. Let's go on to the edit menu on the top left here. Click preferences, go into add-ons, and then click the search bar and search up loop. This is a default add-on on Blender, so you should have this. Check this off. On the bottom left here, say preferences, and then you can close this tab. Um, so let's start from the scratch here. Right, so let's add a cube. Scale this on the y-axis. Go into edit mode. Face select. Select the front and back face. Press I to inset. Perfect. Right click. Loop tools bridge. So bridge basically just made it so that um, it's gone all the way through the box. Very helpful. Next step that we want to do is to add a loop cut on the right hand side. This is for, I guess, the handle, or we call it for the glasses, the one that like hangs off your ears. Let's do one on this side. This one is for what connects the lens. So you're going to want to make this one a bit fatter. If that's not fat enough and you've already clicked, uh, one thing you can do to fix this is have this all selected. If you deselected, you can just double click on the edge here. Uh, and then press G twice. That's gonna allow you to move it up and down. Um, that big circle that you see is from proportional editing. So anything that's around this will be affected within the circle. Again, if I uh, scroll up and down on the mouse, this is gonna make it so that um, more is affected by that. So let's turn that off by pressing O. That looks good to me though. Go on to face select, click the side here. Move it right about there. Hit the back side, this is the front side. Press three, extend this going forward on the y-axis. Make sure that everything is kind of squared out so that your topology looks nice when it's subdivided. Uh, the very last one here, you're just gonna want to scale this out. All right, so most sunglasses have that like little flared out end at the very bottom or at the, at the end of them, so. That's what that's for. Um, next step that you wanna do is to move this to the X axis on the right hand side. Let's add a cube. This cube will be our mirror modifier, or I guess mirror object. So click the eyedropper here, click the cube. Let's hide that cube. Move this on the X axis. Let's check off the clipping. Go into edit mode. Select the interface here and let's connect this. It should just kind of jump at each other, which it did. So that's connected now. Let's press, not press, but let's add a modifier, subdivision. Let's jump this up to three, right click to shade smooth. And there you go. It's looking like a pair of sunglasses. So uh, let's go into the side view, click vertice mode. Let's grab this whole side here and make sure you're in x-ray mode because whatever you're looking at will be selected. Everything on the back end side won't. So Alt Z is the shortcut. Select everything here. Rotate on the X axis. Let's turn on proportional editing. You can also press O. Drop this down, maybe make that circle smaller. Drop that down, make it less subtle. Down a bit more, something like, something like that. Awesome. Uh, we'll do the same thing for the front here. Go X-ray mode. Select these vertices in the middle. G and then Y. Scale up that proportional editing. This is to make it so that it fits on the face. Let's grab the end here and kind of jump this on the inside. Rotate on the Z axis. G and then X. Something like that. It's good enough. All right, awesome. So if you look closely, we'll see this little gap in the middle here. It looks kind of ugly. Uh, but the reason for that is because we have this clipping together and you have two vertices that are basically connected to each other, but not really. So uh, we can fix that later, not a problem. But for now, um, let's start adding a lens. So edit mode, make sure you're in, um, what do you call it? X-ray mode, just to make it so that it's easier to see this loop cut. But have a loop cut, loop cut in the middle, and move this to the very edge. 
looks like it is press F to fill it and you have your lens awesome so this is looking just about complete so we're just about there guys uh, the next step that we have to do is to add the bump on the very edge of the glasses here so you can kind of see what style I'm going for here um, maybe before I get carried away let's go edit mode Stuff everything let's just do material for the frames make this black there we go uh, let's do a subdivision on this one this will be the bump like I said let's make this yeah, jump that up to two right click shape smooth go into the side view edit mode add a loop cut bring it to the back so um, the backs kind of leveled off scale the whole thing on the y-axis from the side view let's go on the top view by pressing 7 G and then Y, rotate this on the Z axis, bring it back a bit more. Let's go in the front view, that looks good to you. You know, whatever kind of style that you want to do. I'm just going to go and scale this on the Z axis, make this more oval. And smaller, something like, something like that. Let's bring back that cube. Same thing for the glasses, or same thing that we did for the glasses. Click on a mirror modifier, drop the uh, eyedropper onto the cube, you have that on the other side. This is going to save you a lot of time, so make sure to make that a habit. <clears throat> Let's go and, I guess that looks good to me, right click, convert to mesh. Again, this makes it so that everything that you have in the modifier section is applied. You can also just apply everything one by one, but this is a lot faster, obviously. Let's drop this down to two. I don't think it really matters how you do it, but let's convert that to mesh as well. Let's join these together. Forgot to give this its own material, but luckily enough it's selected. If that's not the case, just hover, hub, hover, hover above the item that you want to select. Press L to select the item in its entirety. Same thing on this side here. Oops, control set to go back there you go let's add another material this will be called the bump I want to make this a dark gold add some metallic in there drop down the roughness let's see how this looks like in the render view oh that's right I haven't applied it or signed it maybe a bit darker there you go. So I have this light already added, but all I did was press Control, sorry, Shift A, add the light, area light, go into the side view, jump it up, GY to move it forward, and then this ball here, you can use that to control where this light is being pointed at. And then I just have it set on 500, I believe, yeah, 500 watts. So let's go back to the uh, viewport shading, material preview. Um, let's go and Add a subdiv so it looks nice and smooth. Let me jump that up one more. Um, let's go into X ray. Let's grab these vertices here with proportional editing. Let's drop this down just so it has a bit of a bump. Like most sunglasses, maybe that's too much actually. Let's redo that just a bit. Something like that. <clears throat> now let's work on the lens. I should have done that before because now it's a lot harder to select. So that's my bad. Uh, and also press control. This if you have these middle ones here selected, you can press control and then the plus sign to select more. Kind of did it actually, that might work. Or this one, this work? No, I think I have them all selected at the same time. Like that, front view, control, plus, plus sign, there you go. Back to material, let's add a new one. Name this one lens. Let's make this a nice dark green sign. And there you go, awesome. So let's jump up transmission. That's gonna make it so that you can see through. Um, I should have searched this up before, but I already wanna drop down. Can't remember what it means, but it's the, um, gives it the property of I guess glass, if that makes sense. Let me make that a bit darker. 
something like that. Yeah, it looks good to me. So we're basically done here. That's, yeah, that's basically it. So you can just grab this model, add it to any model that you have now. So for example, let's just make a quick head here. Sub div, let's jump, to the, jump it up by two, scale it up, move it back, apply that, edit mode. Gonna make this realistic looking. Yeah, so you have your model here, and now he has an awesome pair of glasses. Awesome. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.